<clears throat> Alrighty, so we remember these two little designs I made earlier for buy an egg thingy. Wait, what? Oh yeah, here's the third one. Yeah, but this third one is... I already made a little video about that. I don't know if it's part of this or not. Better version of that. Beautiful. I love it. It's so beautiful. I like anything that's made out of this material here. Anyway. If you want it less spacey. Ow. Run wide over here. I decided to put a little egg thingy on top of it to make sure people could find the pig egg. And then I realized after making it, after going through all of that effort, that I cannot place adjacent ones because they are too close. Ooh, experience orb. Give me some of that. I should have planted that there and made it be 30 levels or 40 levels. That would have been really nice for the video. Um, these here, okay. See, um, yeah. XP, let me not do that yet. Buy pig egg, 30 levels of experience needed. Impossible, impossible. It's because you need your XP, my friend. Have your XP 30 levels and uh, curse blammo. It's done as dinner. Oh, yeah, and it also says it down at the bottom. You have purchased one spawn, pig spawn egg for 30 experience levels. Same with 40L. Ploop. But see, having 39 does not quite cut it. Because you. What? Oh. That is an intriguing little. Hmm. That's because you have more than 39, so why is it letting me do that? I just ruined my video. Oh. Anyway, okay, see, your level minimum you need right there is for the price of the heads. Now, I can't get nothing. I Die for me. Die for the video. Alright, so now we have a little bit above 39. Good, doesn't work. So, uh, if made correctly, now it is, uh, it will not, it won't give you junk unless you got the levels, bro. And also have a squid egg one over here, but I haven't built it yet. I had this down on the bottom because when the item pops up, it pops about at that level, and so if I wanted to make it look like it comes out of the sign, that's where to put it. But the pig one works pretty nicely already, so, I mean, look. See, it already kind of looks like it comes out. To the maintenance hatch. A better way to have this sort of random door within the protected spawn area so players can't open it and have to remember to close it. You could just have a random pressure plate that only influence it. it only will teleport someone if they are in the admin team. Anyway, and same with this room. You could close off this room, just have those across the top or middle with maybe even signs to say what they are send as much as you want and teleports to take you into the separate different maintenance chambers don't need a little hallway because admins don't need to walk I mean they have they have gifts already like flying anyway turn this on and off if you want yeah um I don't think that the constant hopper charging is going to cause any or much lag at all but if it does you could always test it by going and turn them off, seeing if lag, seeing if lag fixes after that. Anyway, how this majiki higgy works is power source near the torches. Um, it, every single time one of those moves is another update for the block to test if someone's within this range, and they have that level that needed. And then if it is true that they are. Uh, that someone within that, someone within that uh, has the qualified experience, is 
on the block of the pressure plate and they are pressing the pressure plate, then it will drop the item, drop their experience, and tell them they purchased it. Let's build one. First thing you need to do is under your Wachimahuji, you say, well, I have here 10 by 5, 10 by 5. This is where the pressure plate is. Uh, that's the little pink square. I always use pink for redstone. Uh, and redstone. First thing you need to do is remember what level I have the hopper on, and it's this one. I'm going to sneeze. <coughs> Oh, I hope they didn't ruin the video's audio. Should have covered your ears and said I was going to sneeze if it did hurt. If it didn't hurt, then... Oh, well. If you hear a sheep in the background that's not actually in the game, that was my phone. So, we're placing our hoppers. To, oops. To place a hopper against the hopper, you have to hold shift. And so, it also makes you descend. So, hold shift and press it real quick at the right time. Ta-da! Get whatever you're going to use to power it. I put a little signature of myself in there. Cover it up so no one else can drop something in there and mess you up. And then you get to building. First thing you need to do is be able to have these hoppers power something. And so you need comparators. Whenever there is an item in a hopper, it sends out a certain charge of a certain amount. That's the very minimum that can be in there. So it's, of course, going to be like part of one or one block charge. But all we need is one block charge because from that block... We have torches attached. Makes them blink. And these send out full charges, which are great for us. Great for anything in general, really. Alrighty, I put the command block in line with that command. I mean, with this power. Anyway, yeah. And then I put a redstone here. For when this torch is not powering this block and powering that, then this torch is powering this block, which is powering that redstone, which is powering it. So it's always getting powered. Next, we need, when it is true and successfully happening, we need uh, output there. So I'm going to output one block, but that's <coughs> what we need for the torches. And then both these torches have to touch the same stream of redstone, which will be right there. And then a torch from that. So both those have to be off, which means both of them have to be true for this to turn on. And when it does... First of all, you cannot place a block here for it's touching that powered block, powered by the redstone. Same with on top of it, those are no-nos. That leaves three areas. One, two, and three. We will be using those. And it's essentially built. Now all you need is the fancy wording. Our first one is, well, before anything else, there are a few numbers you are going to need. Let's exit our little hatch here. Don't forget to close it so newbies can't see the magic. I mean, non-admin individuals. Um, the coordinates of our little spot. Press F3, you will see your X, Y, and Z over on the side over there. See? X, Y, Z. I write them down because I have bad memory. 745, uh, 55, and 381. Okay. Another thing you'll need is... It might not show the numbers for you. I forget what the... It's hold F3 and some button to make it show that. I don't remember what it is, though. H. Let's try H. F3, H. Yeah, okay, so if you F3, H, I think you have to actually be in the game to do it. Hold F3 and press H while doing so, and it'll show you those numbers. See that 383 slash 94? We need both those, so go ahead and if you're writing stuff down, go ahead and write down 383 and 94 unless you are better remembering things than I am. Alrighty, so we got that down. Dun, 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 dun. Back to our little zone here. What? What was that noise? I didn't know. Anyway. I'm hearing it again. I'm going crazy. Okay, so back to our squid little room. We are going to test for a player at the coordinates we said. Uh, coordinates are, this is just changes the search. You can do it like this and put it in any order, but if you don't want to have the x equals y equals z equals, it's the first three numbers. x equals 745, y equals 55, 
and then z equals 381 and r which is the radius maximum there's no way to do it rm from the, anyway r equals 1 so we only need it to be in that block and of course there are their experience their level minimum equals 10 this here is an l it's an l i don't know if capital work I don't, i'm not going to test it out right now in the middle of video <sighs> all right so r equals 1 we don't need to have the r equals 1. We just have a 1 there if it's the fourth item. Anyway, so this will test for if I have, if I'm qualified and in the spot, the good spot. And because we need them later, let us go ahead and copy this information. Make our lives easier. We're going to take away the experience of that person. So experience negative 10 levels for the player that is at that spot. And then right here we are going to tell raw a person in that spot. Some stuff in a bit. And we're going to go ahead and drop the item. Summon item. Oops. Uh, I'm going crazy. What just happened? Anyway, we know 55 there. I like to make it one above, it's where their head is. That's just me. 745, 56, 381. Pop. It's even cooler if that spot is where a sign is and they're not right in its face because then it looks like it's kind of popping out of the sign, which I think looks nicer, but it's good enough. Item 745, 56, 381. And then we have to tell it the item it is. So, item, you know the ID, check my little piece of paper, 383. Then the damage, which tells us the type, is 94, and a count of 1. Close both those brackets, or squiggly, squiggly brackets, what they're called. And you can put little spaces if you, you know, are like, there's too much stuff, I need space. There you go. So, we have the drop item. Now we just need to tell them what's up. So, to do that, we tell them the text. Uh, first of all, our main text color is going to be yellow, so it stands out from everything else text you have purchased now here's where stuff gets the tell raw gets kind of aggravated no do not close that extra for extra text that you're going to add on a bracket squiggly bracket and I'm just going to go ahead and copy something real quick color since we're going to be using this quite more than once copy Anyway, you have purchased one. What did we purchase, guys? What did we purchase? Let's go ahead and put a space after that, too. One. Squid spawn. It would help if I spelled correctly. Egg. <laughs> and the color is red. Space after it. So I quit forgetting. And this is going to be the same color, yellow. And if you assign the color at the beginning, before the extras, then it's going to be, it's going to stay yellow. Four. Oh, did I already spell spawn wrong? Spob. Four. Ten. I feel like I'm writing in kindergarten how long it takes to write, you know. Four. Ten. I forgot my space, so I have to put it this time. X. How did I have it set? Was dive experience big? I'll do it like that. Levels. Blue. And then one more, and we are fin. Dot. Yeah, that should be accurate. I kind of want to test it. Cut. Go ahead and just place the torch right there. And you've purchased one spawn squid egg for 10 experience levels. Looks good to me. Is that how the other ones look? No, I had XP all super huge. Like on my signs. I should have known that. Anyway, um, put this back. Blammo, Shazammo. Let's go test it, folks. 
I'm going the wrong way, folks. I want my little ladder there. It's my ladder. It's my ladder. Because if I don't know how to jump, I need to know how to walk up, you know? You know? That must be a pig, baby pig noise. I hear you, but I don't see you. Irrelevancy. Back to the giant egg in the sky. I have 18 levels, that is over 10. Let's buy an egg. You have purchased one squid egg for 10 experience levels. Wait for the text to get away from me, make sure that it's just eight. Yeah, okay, see it worked. Yay, and that's how you do that. Pretty simple stuff. I like this one the best because you can just have a whole bunch of pretty, pretty things that isn't a lot of blocks. Oops. Ah, put it back. Oh, we didn't put it back in time. Anyway, you get the gist of it. Thank you for watching. I hope you at least got some kind of idea of what you want from this. Oh yeah, I did this one lower because of what I'd said earlier about the whole... How it looks like it's coming out of the block thing. See, I mean, but the pig one works just as well. Because if you're looking up... What? Mm, mm, my video's supposed to be done. What's wrong with it? I turned it off. See, so you can turn it off. <laughs> I know you're not supposed to dig through the floor, but... I'm a cheater sometimes. See, it looks like coming from the sign itself too, so it's all good. It's gravy in the hay. You don't need this ugly thing to be so low. And doesn't it look just so nice having all these next to each other? Just buy whatever you want. No need for that big room thingy. And that's my number three for potential shop. Thanks for watching.